fire ritual, the idea came from a very ancient sort of a music ritual. From my historical research from early music, I find people always in the circle, and you know, will always start from center, and the conductor and the soloist, like a shaman, trying to talk to the people through a special sound. We both come from very rich folk music backgrounds, uh, but I think as much as that, this project and the concertos we're playing is about the contemporary feel and about the, the universal language that music is. And these concertos, they range all the way from the most beautiful, most lyrical, um, tender, uh, most touching, meditative um, music you can imagine, till the completely other side with hip hop and rhythms, and it's really, really cool. It's very energetic. And actually, the whole idea is to commemorate the victims, some dead people innocently in the war. So what idea is we're trying to use a special sound wave, sound road. It's kind of a sound map, trying to find those dead people and soul to wake them up with special sound gestures and colors. I love so much about Tandemi's music is that he understands so well how the violin works. At the same time, it's a little bit different. It's not more challenging, it's just in a very different way of creating the sound, which I find so interesting. And also to see how, uh, for instance, uh, Arho, how this instrument works and how you create this sound and how you make it. It's not even about technique, it's about the feeling, it's about uh, the soul in a way, how to make the sound come from the depth and out. And um, I think this is something that is not only for Tandem's pieces, but actually something that I would take for other pieces also, because this is um, not just about the technique in itself, it's a feeling. By the end, the only way you can grab it is to burn, to burn, to, to get it, to, to, to have it actually. <laughs> so I think El Bjorg is fewer, very, very few, like a Yo-Yo Ma, like a Lang Lang, few. Artists really can burn themselves spiritually and uh, find the light, that light will really searching for a certain kind of uh, music, they, 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 they need it. And not very often, but uh, Al Bjork had that quality and uh, extremely singing insight. And uh, I, I feel very lucky actually to work with this finest artist in the world and to to find music in, in, in the soul, and, and that's incredible. First of all, it is, uh, I think, an extremely luxurious situation to have the composer right next to you and being able to ask directly, what are your thoughts about this? What do you want from this? What is your idea? What universe? I tell her many times, composer is the slave of a soloist. We do anything you ask. <laughs> well, then I should do everything you ask, <laughs> so we're a good team, I suppose. <laughs> but uh, I think it's, uh, it's incredible, actually, to have this uh, opportunity to be able to also see when something changes, just by making a few edits. So suddenly the piece also has a different feeling, and to be able to actually shape the piece uh, in such a way as we go is quite a remarkable situation to be in, I think.